Okay, so I've been testing around this new idea I have um, to use the same metals instead of the simmer metal. So on here, on this side, I'm using copper and copper electrodes. Um, let's see if I can get a voltage. And I'm doing a special trick on this to uh, obtain this voltage. And I'm um, going start saying that I did not heat the copper. I did not heat the copper to transform it. And I did not apply any voltage from a battery to this thing. Um, I'm doing something else, something very simple. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to give a quick demonstration of it. Uh, this cell is still wet, so I don't expect the amps to be this high when I do show them. I keep that in mind. But I do expect the voltage to stay relatively in that area, I hope, at least. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm using copper and copper electrodes. And you can see where I got the negative and positive electrode marked off of the pencil. And you can see the cell is still wet. And this is the um, uh, crystal cell I use most often. The Elmer glue, salt substitute, and Epsom salt um, mixture in here. And um, right now I'm just testing out a new idea I have. Uh, you can see we've got nothing on the meter. We're going to hook it up. There we go. And there you have it. It's on the 2 volt scale, 0.524 volts. Coming from that, and I did not put no battery to this, and I did not heat the copper. Um, it's just a special technique I'm using right now to uh, get that power. Alright. There you have it. And, um,. I guess I'll show you the amperage here. You can see I can keep my red lead onto that one. That's also measured voltage in milliamps and microamps. So we're going to turn the dial here. So you can see that's the microamp scale. So I do expect that to be much, much lower than that once it's fully dry. And we'll put like two volts. There you have it. So yeah, two same metal electrodes, as you can see. It's copper and copper electrodes to the crystal glue mix, crystal cell glue mix. I'm just testing out this new idea I have, and it's slowly charging back up after doing the amperage test. Made it on one four twelve. So it hasn't had very much time to dry. I'm give it about a week to dry, fully dry out. So just giving you guys an update on what I'm trying to attempt here. It almost seems like impossible. But hopefully my idea will work out. I am using, like I said, the same metal electrodes on this crystal blue cell. So there you have it.